Okay. Uh, Chuck Todd. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, some have compared this financial crisis to a war, and in times of war, past presidents have called for some form of sacrifice. Uh, some of your programs, whether from Main Street or Wall Street, have actually cushioned the blow for those that were irresponsible during this, uh, during this economic uh, period of prosperity or supposed prosperity that you were talking about. Why, given this new era of responsibility that you're asking for, why haven't you asked for something specific that the public should be sacrificing? to participate in this economic recovery? Well, let me, uh, let me take that question in a couple, couple of phases. Uh, first of all, uh, it's not true that uh, we have not asked sacrifice from people who are getting taxpayer money. Uh, we have uh, imposed some very stiff conditions. Uh, the only problem that we've had so far are contracts that were put in place before we took over. Uh, but moving forward, Anybody, any bank, for example, that is receiving uh, capital from the taxpayers uh, is going to have to have some very strict conditions in terms of how it pays out its executives, how it pays out dividends, uh, how it's reporting uh, its lending practices. So we want to make sure that there's some st stiff conditions in place. With respect to the American people, uh, I think folks are sacrificing left and right. They, you've got a lot of parents who are cutting back on everything to make sure that their kids can still go to college. You've got uh, workers who are deciding uh, to cut an entire day and entire day's worth of pay so that their fellow co-workers aren't laid off. Uh, I think that across the board, people are making adjustments large and small uh, to accommodate the fact that we're in very difficult times right now. Uh, what I've said here in Washington is that we've got to make some tough choices. We've got to make some tough budgetary choices. What we can't do, though, is sacrifice long-term growth, investments that are critical to the future. And that's why my budget focuses on health care, energy, education, the kinds of things that can build a foundation for long-term economic growth as opposed to the fleeting prosperity that we've seen over the last several years. I mean, when you have uh, an e economy in which the majority of growth is coming from the financial sector, when AIG selling a derivative is counted as an increase in the gross domestic, uh, domestic product, uh, then that's not a model for sustainable economic growth. And what we have to do is invest in those things that will allow the American people's capacity for ingenuity and innovation, their ability to uh, take risks, but make sure that those risks uh, are grounded in uh, good products and good services that they believe they can market uh, to the rest of the country, that those uh, uh, models of economic growth are what we're promoting, and that's what I think our budget does. But you don't think there should be a specific call to action? You describe this as a... An economic crisis like nothing we have right. seen since the crisis. Well, as, as I said, the American people are making a host of sacrifices in their individual lives. Uh, we are going through an extraordinary crisis, uh, but we believe that taken, uh, if you take the steps that we've already taken uh, with respect to housing, with respect to small businesses, uh, if you look at what we're doing in terms of increasing liquidity, in the financial system, that the steps that we're taking can actually stabilize the economy and get it moving again. Uh, what I'm looking uh, from the American people uh, to do is that they are going to be doing what they've always done, which is working hard, looking after their families, uh, making sure that uh, despite the economic uh, hard times that they're still contributing to their community, uh, that they're still participating in volunteer activities, uh, that they are paying attention to the debates that are going on in Washington, uh, and the budgets that we're putting forward and uh, some of the decisions that we're having to make are going to be tough decisions, uh, and we're going to need the support of the American people, and that's part of why what I've tried to do is to be out front as much as possible explaining in very clear terms exactly what we're doing.